around 1000 BC in the kingdom of Israel, King Solomon died and his young son Rehoboam went to the city Shechem to become king. Some people from his country came and said, Your father made our work hard. Make our service lighter and we will serve you. Go away for another three days, then return to me. Then Rehoboam went to get advice. He first asked his wise men, Serve the people, answer them, and speak good words to them. Then they will be under you always. Then Rehoboam went to get advice from his friends. Say to the people that you will make their work harder and worse. Show them that you're tougher than your father. Rehoboam had a choice. Who should he listen to? On the third day, the people returned. King Rehoboam spoke to them. My father made your work heavy, but I will make it worse. The people left the king and rebelled. Rehoboam lost 10 of the 12 tribes of the whole nation. The kingdom was divided, and later on, both nations would fall to invading armies. What if Rehoboam had listened to the older ones instead? Do you think that it would have been different? It really matters who we listen to. One day, a group of boys got into an old abandoned building, even though they were not supposed to. No one was there. They started playing around, but one of them got a phone call from his parents. So he left the others and went back home. Later, the boy who left found out that the old building caught fire and the whole thing burned down. The boys were playing with fire, but they didn't mean to burn the whole building. They were just playing around. They tried to put the fire out, but it was too late. The fire got bigger and bigger. They had no choice but to run away. Many fire trucks came to the scene. Neighbors had to evacuate. The firemen tried their best, but they could not save the historic building. A huge column of black smoke rose into the air. Policemen had to come and arrest the boys. They were charged with very serious crimes. They faced the consequences of their terrible choices. But because the one boy had left earlier, he was innocent. He made the right choice just in time. It really matters who you are with and who you listen to.
say no to bad company. Hey! Hello. How's it going? Good. What's up? <laughs> yeah? You guys want to go somewhere? I got a really I wanna good go. place. I want to go. Yeah. Come on, Where? let's go. The old cool. abandoned bridge. <laughs> the place is We're not good. supposed to go there. <laughs> it's not safe. That's why it's hey, cool. This would be cool. Exactly. We're not supposed to go there. Why not? Who said so? It's dangerous. Dangerous? My parents will not like it. Your parents will not like it? They won't. But well, it, it's okay. It's, it, besides, it's cool going somewhere. It's really cool. Well, let's go. Let's go. Exactly. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Well, no, I will not go. But that's not cool. Yeah. Too bad. I'm not going. You don't want to be like all of us? Cool. Scaredy? Doing not smart things is not cool. Bye-bye. Oh, bye. bye. Goodbye. With the help of all there is A story that warns us so much This choice destroys a whole nation It affected all generations Who will you listen to? Who will you listen to? This one question is so vital for you From God don't turn away Thank you.
Proverbs 13.20 says, He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will be troubled. はい。行かない。行かない。Yeah.